This is a LibriVox recording. It has been edited, compiled, and distributed by Audible Anarchist. Section 24 of Prison Memoirs of an Anarchist. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Chad Horner from Valley Clare. Prism Memoirs of an Anarchist by Alexander Berkman. Part 3. Chapter 24. The Basket Sale. Four weeks of Pennsylvania diet have reduced me almost to a skeleton. A slice of wheat bread with a cup of unsweetened black coffee is my sole meal, with twice a week dinner of vegetable soup, from which every trace of meat has been removed. Every Saturday I am conducted to the office to be examined by the physician and weighed. The whole week I look forward to the brief respite from the terrible basket sale. The sight of the stripped men scarring the floor, the friendly smile on the stealthily raised face as I pass through the hall, the strange blue of the sky, the sweet scented aroma of the April morning, how quickly it is all over. But the seven deep breaths I slowly inhale on the way to the office, and the eager ten on my return, set my blood aglow with renewed life. For an instant my brain reels with the sudden rush of exquisite intoxication, and then I am in the tomb again. The torture of the basket is maddening. The constant dusk is driving me blind. Almost no light or air reaches me through the close wire netting covering the barred door. The foul odour is stifling. It grips my throat with deadly hold. The walls hem me in. Daily they press closer upon me till the cell seems to contract and I feel crushed in the coffin of stone. From every point the whitewashed sides glare at me, unyielding, inexorable, and in confident assurance of their prey. The darkness of despondency gathers day by day. The hand of despair weighs heavier. At night the screeching of a crow across the river ominously voices the black raven, keeping vigil in my heart. The windows in the hallway quake and tremble in the furious wind. Bleak and desolate quakes the day. Another day, then another. Weak and apathetic I lie on the bed. Ever further recedes the world of the living. Still day follows night, and life is in the making. But I have no part in the pain and travail. Like a spark from the glowing furnace, flashing through the gloom, and swallowed in the darkness, I have been cast upon the shores of the forgotten. No sound reaches me from the island prison, where beats the fervent heart of the girl. No ray of hope falls across the bars of desolation, but on the threshold of nirvana life recoils. In the very bowels of torment it cries out to be. Persecution feeds the fires of defiance, and nerves my resolution. Were I an ordinary prisoner, I should not care to suffer all these agonies. To what purpose? With my impossible sentence. But my anarchist ideals and traditions rise in revolt against the vampire gloating over its prey. No, I shall not disgrace the cause. I shall not grieve my comrades by weak surrender. I will fight and struggle and not be daunted by threat or torture. With difficulty I walk to the office for the weekly weighing. My step falters as I approach the scales, and I sway dizzily. As through a mist I see the doctor bending over me, his head pressing against my body. Somehow I reached the basket, mildly wondering why I did not feel the cold air. Perhaps they did not take me through the yard. Is it the block captain's voice? What did you say? Return to your old cell. You're on full diet now. End of section 24. Recording by Chad Horner from Ballyclare. This has been a LibriVox recording. It was edited, compiled, and distributed by Audible Anarchist.